Tanzia and Training Teaching Faculty. Your Excellency, Vice Dean of Tarbia and Training Teaching Faculty, the Honorable, the Chief and Secretary of English Language Teaching Department, TIN Sheikh Nurjati Cirebon. The Honorable, the Chief of National EDSA Webinar Series 2021. The Honorable, the Chief of Dewan Mahasiswa and Senat Mahasiswa FITK of TIN Sheikh Nurjati.
uh, that's why I will deserve you in this webinar. And the last uh, is his field of competence. He is an English language teaching, teacher training, and digital material development, and CT in education. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, before the presentation starts, let me tell you how the presentation yeah. will go. First, and Mawang will be invited to the last uh, is his field of there will competence. Be and he is an English language teaching, uh, teacher training, uh, and digital and material development, and the CT in education. The participants well, ladies and gentlemen, hands up button. Uh, before the presentation the starts, or let me tell you how the presentation will go. First, and Mawang will be invited to the last uh, uh, field of there will be competitions, and this is an English language teaching, uh, teacher training, uh, and digital material development, and from the CEO in education. So, as you the know, the well, ladies and gentlemen, before the presentation starts, let me tell you how the presentation will go. Not first, and Mawang will be invited to the last field uh, uh, of there will be competitions, and this year is an English language teaching, uh, teacher training, uh, and digital and material and development, and, and from the CEO in education. So, as you the know, the well, ladies and gentlemen, before the presentation starts, let me tell you how the presentation will go. Not as the first, and Mawang will be invited to the last field of there will be competitions, and this year is an English language teaching, teacher training, and digital and material development and from the in education. So, as we know, as well, ladies and gentlemen, like in the center, uh, before the presentation starts, let me tell you how the presentation will go. Not as the first, and Mawang will be invited to the last field of uh, there will be attention, and this year is an English language teaching, teacher training, and and material development and from the in education. So, as we know, as well, ladies and gentlemen, like in the center, before the presentation starts, Right. Let me tell you how uh, the presentation will go. Not as the first, and Mawang will be invited to the last uh, uh, field of there will be attention. And this year is an English language teaching, uh, teacher training, uh, and uh, and material uh, development, and and the CEO in education. So, as we know, as well, ladies and gentlemen, like in the before the presentation starts, let me tell you how the presentation will go. Not as the first, and Mawang will be invited to the last field of there will be attention. And this year is an English language teaching, uh, teacher training, uh, and uh, and material uh, development, uh, and uh, uh, in uh, education. So, uh, as we know, the as well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to concentrate on material development itself and then um, support system. I'm going to talk a little bit about that and it's going to be a lot of practical things. Yeah, this is our agenda. Tools for supporting materials development. There are so many. Uh, the world is changing with the internet and so on. So we have uh, AI, artificial intelligence for teachers how to develop the materials for teaching later on, I'm going to demo. Then um, I'm going to talk about artificial intelligence for students, because uh, most of your students, how to share or your learning. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, teaching and learning material in English language teaching, because that's language. Mostly, the material is about text, uh, pictures, because it's a language, then you have audio or you have a video. There are a lot of teaching material available that you have to buy, but it's also possible right now you can adapt and develop your own material. Yeah. So basically, text, picture, audio, and video. Yeah. Okay. Now, personalized teaching and learning material. Why? That's the question. Why do you have to personalize? To make the language learning relevant to the learner, if you should out any reason, or you talk about 
something that's happened in the US or something happened in uh, South America. Yeah? Things that relevant to the learner. Other one, motivating and memorable. If your material is good, teaching it is good, it will motivate the students and also memorable. As an English teacher, as a teacher, the students will not remember the material. They will remember you, how you motivate your students, how you present your material. Okay, my questions now. How many of you familiar with Thank you. Angi, yes. Okay, wow, amazing. Yes, very good. 20 students, 24, 25 participants, you're familiar with Canva. Okay, great. How many of you familiar with picto chart? No? Okay. Uh, Alvina, no, not yet, not yet. Okay, picto chart. Okay. How many of you familiar with Snappa? Okay, no, 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 no. Thank you very much for the response. Yeah. Canva, PictoChart, Snappa is good tools to decorate, to create your work, uh, your worksheet that you created for the student. So you can personalize your material using Canva, PictoChart, or Snappa. For example, in my presentation here, I'm using Canva to personalize, yeah, to design, to make it interesting. You can do that uh, with as well. Let me show you Canva. In Canva, picture chart, you can have a worksheet. So if you're playing with Canva, usually you design uh, your post in Instagram for sure. Yeah, you can use that for creating worksheet. If you go to canva.com, then you can have a design ready for school worksheet with Canva. There is facility there. Yeah, you can design things like this and many more. I think you are familiar with Canva already. So I do not Canva, there is uh, such facility. So you can uh, design a worksheet, very beautiful worksheet like this, for instance, uh, personalized using your own pictures and so on and so on in um, Canva. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm not going to demo this. Let's see what's in the picture chart. This is a picture chart. Start with a beautiful template. So they gave you template that you can uh, design this for a worksheet for your students. Very similar to Canva, yeah, but uh, got more template there. You can have infographic, you can have news visualization, you can design poster, you can design presentation, proposal, report, resume, and social media. Yeah, so very similar, but it has more option for teaching or for developing material for teaching. Yeah, that's called picture chart. It's free, like Canva. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, have a look at Snappa. This is Snappa. Uh, design template. Yeah. So they give you again template. Uh, Facebook post, Instagram post, uh, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter, YouTube, uh, and so on. Good for blogging. They give you headers, profiles. So there are more uh, 
templates that you can use. Yeah. So play around with picture chart, play around with Snappa, play around with Canva, then you can decorate, or you can create your teaching material uh, interesting and beautiful. I give you the link here. Later, you can access my uh, material online. Yeah. How about audio and video? Audio, you can record your own voice, and then you can uh, decorate with a background music, uh, and so on and so on. Uh, tools that you can use, it's called Audacity. How many of you familiar with Audacity? Yes or no in the chat box, please. Are you familiar with Audacity? No. So, yeah, one of you say yes. Good. Some of you familiar with that? Some of you are not yet. So if you're going to present uh, your teaching materials so that the students will listen that, material at home, then you can use Audacity to uh, do uh, mixing and so on, yeah. Try that, it's free, it's fun, yeah, Audacity. If you're interested in creating a video, creating a cartoon, for example, uh, using your computer, you can use Screencast-O-Matic. How many of you familiar with Screencast? If you like gaming, usually you know screencast o If you don't like playing games, then maybe you're not familiar with screencast o Not yet, not yet, okay. Well, some of you, Erma, yes. Thank you, Erma. Sokma, yes. Muhammad Iqbal, yes. Okay. So screencast o is uh, recording for to record your screen. Whatever in your screen, the movement in your screen. Uh, so if you're going to create, for example, interactive uh, uh, animation and so on, how to show, how to play games and so on, how to win the game and so on, you can create that video very easily using screen casomatic. I'm not going to do the demo, it will take time, but I give you tutorial. Later on, when you access my presentation, you can click tutorial and then you can um, watch that. You can create your own, yeah? Personalize your audio and your video with this. There are many more, but this too, it's good for beginners, yeah? Okay. Now about AI, personalize your lesson with artificial intelligence, yeah? How many of you familiar with Lesson Writer? Can you respond in the chat box, please? Lesson Writer, yes or no? Rika, no, thank you, Rika. Alvina, no, thank you. Uh, yes, it's so familiar, Muhammad Iqbal, thank you. Ayu, no, Melissa, no. How about the others? Not yet, sir. Okay. Um, how many of you familiar with Ad Puzzle? Yes or no? Okay, no, yes. Some of you, yes, some of you, most of you, no. How about Quillions? How many of you familiar with Quillions? No, Quillions? Some of you say yes, good. Yeah, Pak Muhammad Iqbal Fauzan. Okay, you're familiar with Quillions. Okay, good, okay. These three uh, using artificial intelligence to help teachers creating their teaching and learning materials. 
Yeah, let me start with a lesson writer. Okay, what is lesson writer? Lesson writer is a website with artificial intelligence. What you need is only uh, text. And then when you give it to the AI, you put it in the website, then the website will create the exercise, the handout and so on and so on for you. So it's very simple. Let me um, do a demo a little bit on that to give you uh, ideas. So this is a uh, lesson writer. I go to lessonwriter.com. Then you create uh, an account. I already got the account, so I just log on here. Yeah, then I go inside it. What do you want to do today? I want to teach. So I click start teaching. Uh, I want to make a lesson uh, using text, for example, just like that. Then I have to change the class. I have to put the R E N, for example, here, the author name, for example, GJ, the source uh, website, for example. Then I put my text in here. Yeah. Let me uh, choose some text first. Go to desktop. Go to here. So I'm going to copy reading text. Okay. So this is the text. And um, basically, I just copy it. Just a second, yeah. So I copy this, okay, up to here. Okay, up to here. Yeah. Okay, then I paste it there. Yeah. Then I just click create from this text. So I'm going to create my teaching material from this text. Yeah, they ask me that, then I just go continue. Uh, I'm in a hurry, so I go to express. Yeah. Later, you can try on uh, your own. This will create a lesson plan and a lesson for you. My advice would be to not use this directly. You have to do some adjustment. Yeah, because this is created by a machine. Make it more human. Yeah. So I can save and uh, continue. Okay. So this is a uh, letter I can save it. Yeah. So this is what it looks like. Pronunciation. That's I have to teach. This is the vocabulary from the text. Yeah. Okay, already designed by the AI. Then this is the reading, reading text. Then this is the questions, the comprehension questions. They provide the questions. So uh, when you got the text, you do not need to worry how to create questions. Let the machine help you creating the question, and then you can do adjustment later. Yeah. So this is. Uh, Creating your questions here. Then focus on grammar. Yeah. Uh, this is vocabulary, word stem, and so on. Okay. So this is the exercise for your student. So you do not need to worry that much about creating a vocabulary exercise. Yeah. Matching exercise. Write your own sentences. Yeah. So this is the. Um, Worksheet for student created by the AI, less than five minutes. You just give your text to the AI and then they will do it for you. Yeah. Then they also create a lesson plan. Yeah. 
here the lesson plan the objective of the lesson the vocabulary have differentiation guide and assessment yeah um, so that's become a material designed by ai okay summary and so on and then they gave you the answer key so you can create your own material with the help of ai one of that is using lessonwriter.com okay so what i want you to do later try it and then uh, create that first draft of your reading class or english class using uh, lesson writer yeah good now i'm going to show you uh, let's continue first okay so that's lesson writer they will create the lesson for you yeah if you're going to have a video from youtube for example and then you're going to create exercise and so on uh, you can go to atpuzzle.com so you just take the video put it there and then the students will watch the video and then answer the question before they answer the questions they cannot move on watching the video for example if you have five minutes video and minute one ask questions and then minutes two you ask question and so on so they watch and answer the question at the same time not just watch let's watch the video and then the questions later not like that but it's going to be more interactive on that i'm not going to show you this one because it takes times but i give you the link here for tutorial how to create that yeah so create beautiful interactive video lessons for your students yeah you can integrate this in your google classroom later or your learning management system and you can track the students progress as well some of you might watch some of you might uh, some of the students might watch that and do the exercise and some maybe no you can keep track on the students yeah that's uh, at puzzle okay uh, next one coolion it's ai powered platform for question creation again if you have a text then usually you will spend a lot of time in uh, creating questions right now there is an ai that will help you yeah it's called quillians let me show you how um okay quillians you go to quillians.com and you can um, sign up or you can um, log in i think i got the account so i just log in yeah okay when i lock this I don't want to go to premium because I have to pay. The free version it's good enough to start with. Yeah. So uh, when you see this, then you click here for a title and then select domain and so on. Um, to save time, I'm going to use uh, sample text. So the title is United States. Here is geography, and this is the text. Yeah. Okay. What I have to do? Proceed. Click proceed. Then the machine is working for me. Again, what you need is a good text for your student, appropriate text for your students, and a lot of tools that you can use to help you in personalizing your material. Okay. So this is the um keywords yeah i'm happy with that so i close proceed so they're processing the keyword okay review content no just click uh, skip review if you review content will take time later you can try that when you got that okay so this is the questions created by the ai Question ID 57, WH question 17, interpretive questions 52. So you get a lot of uh, questions, then you can use them all. Yeah, try some that's uh, best for you. Okay, you can export the questions. Okay, 
when you export in PDF, you have to pay. You export that in Word, you have to pay. But if you export that in TXT, it's free. I love free things, so I click the TXT. Okay. Then um, they ask me where should I save that. Okay, I'll save that in a desktop. Then save. Okay. Let's see what's the result. Yeah, this is the questions. Yeah, the factual questions. Uh, that they have a lot of uh, questions here. I think this is more than a hundred questions. So you can choose which one is appropriate for your students. Interpretive questions, number 75, and so on. Yeah. So there are a lot of questions generated by the AI. Then you have to choose some for your student. Okay. This to make our life a lot easier. Yeah. Okay. That's a uh, Quillian's. Yeah. So there are a lot of AI that can help you creating your materials. Yeah, there are more uh, because we don't have that much time. I'm triggering use with this. This is easy. And then later on, you can uh, upgrade yourself. You can follow a group and so on and so on. You can go to Google to ask for more. For example, the keyword similar to Quillian's. AI similar to Quillian's, go to Google and then you will find uh, a lot of options on that. Okay. Now, personalize your students' learning. You are students as well. How to make that personalized using AI? Yeah. Uh, first one, questions again. Are you familiar with Masterpiece Generator? Yes or no? Can you answer that, please? Masterpiece generator. Yes or no? Oh, yes, yes, no. Yes, okay. Some of you familiar with that? Brilliant. Next question. How many of you familiar with Ritlang? No, no, okay, Ritlang. Okay, good, then I'm going to introduce that to you later. How many of you familiar with paperrater.com? No, thank you, Rika, Rosley. Not yet, thank you. How about the others? Paperrater.com. Fitri, no. Okay. Thank you. Okay. okay. Now let's, uh, some of you familiar already with the uh, Masterpiece Generator, yeah? Masterpiece generator is a set of tools that you can go later. If you're going to write a short story, for example, then the AI will help you. You want to create a good poem for your boyfriend or girlfriend or your parents, maybe, or your teachers. You can use this AI. Yeah. Go to masterpiece-generator.org.uk. Then... Um, you will be taken there and it's very easy. You just answer the questions and then they will write the story for you. Okay, try it and it's fun. So you can create a good uh, story, a good poem, a good songs maybe. Yeah, songs, lyric, so try it. Yeah. Now let's me move on to uh, Ritlang. Yeah. Ritlang, it's a website, again, using AI. Uh, it's free. Yeah. You don't have to pay. Um, it will help you creating a chart. If you have a reading text, 
for example, uh, let me show you. This is the uh, read line. You log in. Then I continue reading this one, for example. I already upload some uh, text. Yeah. Okay, that's free. Explore it by yourself later. Okay. I'm reading this and I don't understand, for example, seamless. So I click. They will see mulus. Easily. Dengan mudah, easily. Integrated. Then uh, mudah terintegrasi. So this is will translate that for you. It's not like Google Translate. Google Translate, sometimes you lost the context. Yeah, with this one, they will help you uh, reading. Yeah. But not just that. When you click word that you don't understand like this, automatically, this website will create a flashcard for you. Yeah. So if I go to my flashcard here. Uh, review words, yeah. So they, uh, I learned Arabic some time ago. Then um, they create the um, flashcard for me, yeah. Then create this exercise, so you can have a word list that you don't know, yeah. And then how to pronounce it? You just click this speaker, speaker, yeah, and they give you the library, of course. So when you read the text, this website will help you picking some vocabulary that you are not familiar with. It's not only for learning English, it also to learn other languages. For example, uh, I know Indonesian, I'm learning, not English, if you click here, Arabic, for example, or other language, Filipino, for example. Yeah. So that will help you uh, doing that. Yeah, so it's very easy and handy. You have to do it online, by the way. Yeah, that's rich slang. So you can personalize your own learning. You can create, uh, the, the machine will help you creating the flashcard for you and creating the word list for you. Yeah. Okay, uh, explore that and advise that to use it for your students or it's for your personal uh, learning later because you're also a student, yeah. Okay, that's it. Now, the last one that I'm going to introduce to you, then we can do discussion later, yeah. And there are more uh, of this kind, paper writer, Grammarly is very familiar. There is an also apps, it's called uh, Outright, Pro Writing Aids, and so on, yeah. Like I said earlier, if you're looking for similar AI or similar application, just go to Google, similar to Paperator, then they will find it for you and then you can explore it on your own, yeah. Okay, let me um, show you how this works, Paperator. .com, if you go, uh, it's, again, it's free. Yeah, let me close this one. Okay, now, use now free, I click that. Yeah. So I have to upload a text here. Let me find a text. Just give me a second. This is my last uh, apps anyway. Okay, uh, poster, no. Is it the correct one? Uh, no. Um, okay. Picture, poster, I think this one. Let me check. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Hmm. No, not that one. Okay, for example, if I check this one, any tax will do. Okay, for example, I take this, copy, 
then I have to paste it in here in the paperrater.com. I advise you to do this for your writing later. Yeah. Select education level of this paper or the author. Uh, I will say this is for you. So it's college undergraduate. Select the type of the uh, paper that you're submitting. It's an essay. Yeah. Then you check here. I have read and agreed the term of service below. Okay. Then you go get report. Okay. And then the AI will work for you. You just relax and wait. Very much depends on the internet connection. Hopefully that will do. Yeah. So this paper writer try to analyze your text. Okay. Then you can check the spelling. There is one problem with the spelling. And then here they give you suggestion. Yeah. Grammar, there is one here and give you suggestions. So it's like Grammarly, but more advanced. Yeah. What I like about this is you can go to grade. If you click grade, oh, 92A. So if you have an essay, then you have to submit it to your professor or your lecturer. Submit it to AI first. Make sure that you got grade A. If you haven't got grade A, you have to rewrite it again. Uh, A here, it's not about the logic, but it's on the grammar only. Then your professor will uh, improve your how you argue, how you give the uh, explanation, how to order the argument and so on, but not in a term of grammar and styles. Yeah. So. Uh, this will be uh, very powerful for you to learn grammar and to learn how to write. Yeah. So there are some uh, that you can use here. My advice, explore more of this kind of tools. There is a pro writing aids, outcomes, writing revisor. There are many. Yeah. They have their own strengths and weaknesses, of course. This one is giving great, so it's uh, powerful for you. Okay, so material development, again, is very much right now depends on the existence of the internet. Yeah, so language learning material should be ideally driven by learning and teaching principle rather than developed by hoc or ad hoc or imitation of the best-selling course book. So uh, you can buy a course book, of course, but then you have to put that in a context of Chirbon, if you're teaching in Chirbon, context of your student situation. Yeah? Language learning material should be interesting and relevant. To make it interesting is very easy, but to make it relevant and enjoyable, that's not easy. Yeah? You need a lot of tools, you need internet connections, you have to know some apps, you have to know some AI. And then when you know that, you can integrate that into your design of material. Sorry, Pak Gumawa. Sorry, yeah. uh, time is up for your presentation. Okay. Uh, can you conclude? Yeah, sure. Uh, I just, this is my last slide. Tool for supporting material, it will be AI for teachers and AI for students. Yeah. Thank you very much. If you want to uh, access my material, you go to bit.ly slash jati minus nurjati. Yeah, you can get live of my presentation. You can check the links and look at the demo and so on. Thank you very much. Back to you, Pak Ahmad Rifai. Thank okay, you. thank you, Pak Gumawang. This is very amazing presentations, and truly, I am still curious, Mister. Yeah. So today, uh, we can get many knowledge, yeah, and ideas, yeah, for our learning process in the classrooms. Uh, uh, I think, and I would like to say uh, to all my students in ELTD, the Center of Japan, uh, I'm sorry because I haven't yet 
uh, practice and use of uh, maybe media and internet access to a try yeah of uh, as the Mr. Gumawang Jati explains yeah and the next uh, well ladies and gentlemen uh, no are the time for the questions and answer sessions I would like to have three questions yeah Mr. Okay thank you three uh, or four three 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 or four questions from the participants uh, the participants can click the hands up button and unmute the audio or write the questions in the chat box directly. Okay, please. Yeah, Muhammad Iqbal Fauzan, the same hand. Okay, Iqbal. Uh, okay, hello. Yeah. Is my voice clear? Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you, Mr. Rifai, for giving chance to me, and especially for Mr. Gumawang, what a nice presentation today, and thank you so much. Uh, yeah, talk about AI, and it is very interesting, so I have a related question about that. My question is how AI empowers English teachers, and what is your opinion about AI could possibly do in English education, especially in our country, in the coming years? Uh, that's my question. Okay. Okay. Uh, Mr. Yeah, okay. thank you. How AI help English teacher? How AI help English teacher? Okay. To give you illustration, everything in pattern, everything who got pattern, everything in consistence like grammar, spelling, translation, that will be taken by AI. So something with pattern, something regular will be taken by AI. So the English teacher is still needed, yes. But there are a lot of things that you, uh, that the teacher in the past, they have to do it, but now the AI will take that over. For example, pronunciation. The AI is a better teacher than you or me or human because they never tired. They can teach pronunciation. You can go to uh, Elsa, for example. There is an application free in your mobile. It's called Elsa. It's teaching pronunciation. Yeah. So a lot of uh, tasks will be taken by AI. Checking grammar. Zaman dulu in the past is the teacher's job. I have 300 students. I don't have time to check their grammar. But right now, the AI will check the grammar in less than... 10 minutes for uh, 300 students. Yeah. Yeah. So in the coming years, it will shift. There will be changes. Yeah. Some of the uh, mechanics, the teaching mechanic, how to create lesson plan in the mechanics that I saw you using a, a lesson writer will be taken by AI. What should we do? We have to personalize what is from the product of AI. So if you are teaching reading, you say lesson writer, and then you got that, and then you have to add more to make it more personalized. That's my answer, hopefully answering your question. Muhammad Iqbal, Fauzan, thank you. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Pak Gumawang and Muhammad Iqbal. Uh, next. I think because this presentation is very amazing, yeah. So maybe I would like to say wow because I haven't yet practiced it in the classrooms. And once more, uh, please forgive me to all students, yeah, because I haven't yet uh, used it for your meaningful uh, teaching and learning process. Yeah, Muhammad Asif Humani. Bye, Muhammad Asif. Oke, okay, uh, uh, Mr. Gumawang Jati. Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for giving me chance to ask question. My question is simple. Uh, last time you said that to make a lesson relevant is not easy. 
my question is how to make uh, our teaching or our uh, super thing for teaching relevant. Okay, can you repeat this, Muhammad Asif? Uh, the question. I think I got the. I think I got the uh, the point. Ah, but okay. anyway, okay. Uh, yeah. How to make the teaching relevant? Um, the answer is going to be very long, but make it simple, uh, Muhammad uh, Umami. Make your student fall in love to your lesson. Make your students fall in love to your lesson. That's the key. Yeah, that will motivate the students, and then things will be relevant. For example, if you're teaching an elementary school in Cirebon, for example, don't talk about something what happened in the UK or in Jakarta. If you're going to use a picture, for example, don't take a good, nice picture from the internet. Take real picture of your house or your room, you know, That's so that I can tell more stories. I got the emotional, yeah, uh, Things with my room so that I can tell more. Yeah. So use things around your students that involve again emotion, because language is an art. Yeah, language uh, is express feelings. We have to explore on that area. Hopefully that answer uh, your question. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Mister. Okay, uh, Asif, Muhammad Asif, thank you, and others? Okay, and there is a question in the chat box. Um, in the beginning, you said that the students won't memorize the material, but the, yeah. the teacher, then how to make students memorize the material? Um, the, I'm not saying that. Uh, I'm saying that the students, after they graduate, they will not remember the materials that you teach. You will not remember grammar point or you will not remember material from Pak Rivai, for example. Yeah. Yeah. You will remember how Pak Rivai treats you, how Pak Rivai talk to you, how Pak Rivai motivate you, and so on. That's, uh, that's the point. The students, they don't have to memorize materials all of the materials, no. They have to not memorize, but they have to understand. They have to remember a lot of words, of course. They have to memorize that bit by bit, of course, yes. Yeah. But they will not remember a certain point. Oh, yeah. They remember more on personality. That's why personalized teaching material is very important. They will, my students will not remember the material, how I teach critical reading. <laughs> they will remember how I greet them, how I give marks to them, how I chat with them, and so on. Yeah, How I present my materials, but not the material. That's uh, the answer for Okta, Okta Ika. Okta. Okay, thank you, Mr. Gunawan. And maybe I can outline of uh, the answers, yeah. Make your students fall in love on you. Yeah. Uh, firstly, make your students fall in love on you, and it will make uh, your mind usually or maybe always remind you or maybe memorize you. Okay. Others, one more, one question, one question more. Are okay. the direct communication features available? Um, this is from Yanni. Uh, uh, okay. All of the tools you have given to us are really interesting and helpful. Thank you so much. My question is, can we provide feedback that ultimately given to the students? Um, when you use paper writer, for example, the feedback will automatically given by the AI. That's why you have, as a teacher, you have to be careful when you use AI. You have to explore first how the AI gets feedback and so on. Is it appropriate for your students and so on? 
but the AI will give the feedback automatically <laughs> and also suggestion. Yeah, that's uh, the answer uh, for Yani from Jogja. Okay, thank you uh, for Mbak Yani from Jogja. Is it one uh, one uh, question more, Mister? Yeah, Audience. sure. Is there any other questions? Uh, yeah, welcome, Yani. If you want to ask further question later, you can always email me. I'll I'll, I'll type okay. uh, my email in the chat box. Kumawang Rejati at gmail com yeah i always answer uh, questions through email so please or if you want to uh, join a telegram group that's talking about ai talking about technology you can go to bit uh, wait bit uh, ly slash yeah that's a telegram group uh, a lot of people talking about technology and asking question and discussion that go to there and then um, you can also join the another uh, one that's quite popular just give me one second dot ly slash telegram I tell yeah I put that in the um, chat box so you can join a group of discussion it's not that uh, busy but if you have any questions you can post your question there and a lot of people will help finding the answer yeah okay. back Thank to you, you. Okay, thank you, uh, Pak Gumawan, so for your inspiring uh, presentations and answers. So I think time is uh, up here yeah, for questions and answers. Uh, uh, now, uh, finally, uh, we come to the end of the webinar. Before closing this webinar, I want to draw the conclusions for what the speaker said that so we are talking about tools yeah, for supporting materials, uh, they are AE uh, for teachers and for learners. Yeah, and Mr. Gumawa said that for text and pictures, you can use the Canva or Picto chart or Snapa, all of them to personalize the materials online in language teaching. So others audio and video, uh, they are Audacity, uh, Screencast or uh, Screencast or Matic, and others lesson writers like Puzzles and Williams. Uh, the last is language learning materials should ideally be interesting relevant and enjoyable uh, maybe that's all yeah for this uh, conclusions and the last is uh, i always said your state uh, mr gumawa that make your students fall in love thank you uh, for your awesome and amazing presentations mr gumawa uh, see you next, and I would like to thank the speaker of one of interesting presentations and all the participants for the very active participations. Finally, applaud to the speakers and all of you. Okay, thank you very much, and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Back to you, Master of Ceremony.
Well, the main agenda is over. Thank you very much for amazing explanation from Mr. Dr. Agumawang Jati MA as the speaker today and nice guidance from Mr. Ahmad Rifidi as the moderator for today's webinar. Um, before going to the next agenda, we have a giveaway session. Um, it will be delivered by committee. So the time is your opportunity. Ya, selamat pagi semuanya. Uh, sekarang kita akan mulai ya. Jadi kemarin bertanya dan yang hari ini, lalu ada pertanyaan di yang sudah di share screen di zoom ini. Sudah pada siap belum nih partisipan? Jadi uh, di sini. Yang pertama akan dijelaskan oleh saudara saya, saudara Muhammad Ada teknis permainannya. Oke, okay. the word jadi waktu ada satu Q yang harus teman-teman partisipan bisa tebak. Nanti terdapat beberapa klu-klu berkaitan dengan keyword tersebut sebagai contoh misal cluenya itu dipakai untuk melindungi kita dari hujan kemudian juga bisa melindungi kita dari panas lalu keyword ini itu termasuk salah satu judul lagu dari penyanyi Rihanna dan keyword keywordnya yaitu untuk seperti itu ya. Jadi untuk jawaban saudara dan saudari bisa diketikkan di chat box ya. Siapa cepat dia dapat. Oke. Sudah siap? Ready guys? Okay, the first clues. Yang pertama. Oke, okay. the first is you take me everywhere you go. Ya, jadi si barang ini. Nah, itu aja ya bisa dibaca. 
You take me everywhere you go. The first clue is it. Okay. Okay. okay next clue. Next clue. <laughs> belum, belum, Mas Mbak belum. <laughs> nanti finalnya nanti saya akan kasih tahu ya. Masih ada clue berikutnya. I've been a part of today's fashion. Okay. Belum, belum ya. Belum, sabar. Okay. Nanti saya akan next clue. Next clue. I save lives. Okay. Apel, awan, ranting, bunga, daun. Oke. Oke, untuk pemenangnya nanti kita akan umumin di akhir. Oke, buat game terakhir yaitu Find the Missing Fix. Jadi nanti akan ada suatu gambar di mana terdapat banyak item-item. Benda. Di mana nanti akan ditampilkan gambar yang terdapat banyak item-item, terus kemudian akan ditampilkan kembali dengan beberapa item yang dihilangkan. Kemudian teman-teman di situ bisa menebak item apa saja yang dihilangkan dalam gambar. Dan gambar hanya akan ditampilkan selama 10 detik saja. Dan ingat item apa saja yang terdapat dalam gambar tersebut. Apakah sudah siap? Apakah teman-teman sudah siap? Oke, okay, ready? Ready, 3, 2, 1, and go! go. One, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In Sinap. Oke, okay, silakan teman-teman buat menebak kira-kira gambar apa saja kah yang hilang? Item apa saja kah yang hilang dari dalam gambar? Bisa dijawab langsung oleh kakak-kakak dan saudara-saudari. Langsung Jadi teman-teman jawab aja apa yang langsung. hilang dari gambar tersebut dalam satu chatnya gitu. Ya, untuk item-item yang dilangkan yaitu ada dot bayi, penghapus, kelas chat, bintang-bintang ini, itu ya poster yang ada di majing day gitu, kan ada paper yang gambar jadi bintang, terus kemudian cerengan babi yang di atas. Oke. Baik, terima kasih teman-teman partisipan yang sudah mengikuti sesi game kali ini. Please, audience, wait a second ya.
uh, what is what a second for the list attempts will be shared. Oke okay, untuk pemenang dari game ketiga game tadi terus kemudian hadiah dari penanya terbaik dari ketiga materi yang telah disampaikan akan diumumkan setelah sambutan-sambutan yang akan disampaikan setelah berikut ini. Terima kasih. Selanjutnya saya kembalikan lagi ke MC. Right, thank you for committee. Uh, okay, for announcement for the uh, winner, and um, we will only so don't go anywhere. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's now turn to the last agenda. It is closing. In this agenda, there will be some speeches. The first speech will be delivered by the chief of EDSA EIN, Sheikh Nurjati Chirbuat, to Mr. Fajar Novtian. The time is yours. <laughs> Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Wa bihi nasta'in ala din. Wa salatu wassalamu ala asrofil anbiya wal mursalin. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in. Amma ba'du. Rabbi srohli sodri wa yassirli amri. Wahlul uqdatan milisani yafqaw qawli yafatahu ya'alim. The Honorable the Dean of Tarbiyah, Dr. Haji Farihin, MPD. The Honorable the Vice Dean of Tarbiyah, Mr. Dr. Haji Saipudin, MAG. The Honorable the Head 
of English Language Teaching Department, Mr. Teddy Rohadi, the Honorable, the Secretary of English Language Teaching Department, Mr. Farouk Imam Arashid, the speakers, Mr. Gumawang, Mr. Joko, and Mr. Wahid Nasruddin, the moderator, Ms. Haira Rizka, and Mr. Ahmad Rifai, the chief of SEMA FITK, the chief of DEMA FITK, the head of committee at the National Webinar Series 2021, and all the participants that I am proud of. First of all, all praises to Allah, the God most gracious, the most merciful, who has been giving us mercies and blessings. Thanks to his kindness, we can attend this event properly and with the health condition. Secondly, salawat and salam may always be delivered to our Prophet Muhammad wasallam, to all his family, his best friend, and for us, his people, till the Yawmul Qiyamah. Amin, Ya Rabbal Amin. As the chief of Etsa, I would like to thank you for everyone who has been joining this event this National Webinar Series 2021. I hope this webinar can be useful for us and can make a progressive movement in English language teaching media, English language teaching development world. And this National Webinar Series will be held in the next year. And if you have any suggestion for the topic, you can direct message to our social media on Instagram, YouTube, or Facebook. Thanks to all the participants who has been joining this event. I hope this event give us an innovation or movement to get more spirit and passion in language teaching world. That's it for me. Once again, thank you for joining this event. Thanks for having me. Wawul muafiq ila kwamimitorik. Wabila taufiq falidaya. Walafuminkum. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin Wassalatu wassalamu ala asrafil anbiya'i wal mursalin Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin This national webinar series 2021 Yeah I can see yeah, uh, everything runs well. Yeah. Then uh, I hope okay, it would uh, benefit to all uh, uh, participants, yeah, especially uh, who have been uh, participating okay, yeah, in this today's uh, seminars. Yeah. Uh, and uh, particularly yeah, to uh, the development of uh, material development uh, knowledge itself. Yeah. Uh, I would like to thank uh, to first yeah. Uh, the speakers, okay, who have been willing, uh, yeah, to share, okay, uh, uh, their precious uh, 
knowledge and expertise on this uh, field. Yeah, uh, Pak Joko, uh, Pak Wahid, and Pak Humawa. Yeah, and then also uh, the moderators. Yeah, who have uh, also uh, shared their times in their activities. Okay, yeah, to be. Uh, participating in this uh, program. Yeah. Uh, next, uh, my uh, gratitude also is delivered to uh, the committee yeah, of this program yeah, who have been working uh, so hard okay, yeah, to, to make this program uh, successful. Uh, above all, I would like to thank to uh, the EDSA crews, okay, yeah, who have been coordinating all these uh, activities, okay, yeah, and uh, come to uh, a reality. Yeah. <clears throat> Finally, yeah, uh, there must be any uh, shortcomings, okay, yeah, and then. Uh, probably yeah uh, unsatisfactory uh, things okay yeah in this program and uh, I would like everybody to apologize I would like to uh, ask yeah uh, apologize for this okay and then uh, give me uh, give us feedback okay uh, to uh, uh, what is it for our betterment in the futures. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, English uh, language uh, teaching department. Yeah, is uh, developing. Okay. Yeah. Uh, not only uh, the students' uh, competencies. Okay. Yeah, in their uh, field that is teaching English. Okay, but also. Uh, to develop their soft skill, especially managing all this activity. And I hope all this can uh, benefit them, okay, and improve uh, the, the image of our department, okay, in the future. Well, uh, again, uh, thank you for everybody, okay, yeah, who have been uh, participating and then joining this program yeah uh, so uh, okay, can i close directly or yes. right so i would like to close this uh, uh, webinar a uh, national webinar series 2020 okay by saying hamdala Alhamdulillah, Yorabil Alamin. And this program is closed. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you to Mr. Teddy for the speech. Um, next is, I will announce all of the winner for the reward. There are six participants will get the reward. The first is Dewanti for the best question. The next is Yani. And for the last of the best question is Muhammad Iqbal, Iqbal Fauzan. Okay, for the winner in giveaway last time, the first is Rika Meilani. Yeah, Rika Meilani. And the next is Septia Ulandari. And last is Nurul Hafidoh. Well, congratulations for uh, the participants you mentioned. You may contact 
you may contact the committee for further information about the price and you can contact they them for in the player yes player um okay before we leave this zoom you can uh, you may turn on your camera to take a picture together please yeah yes um while waiting turn on the camera i will rem remind you about um link yeah about feedback form uh, you can fill out fill that start from now um you just have 30 minutes to fill uh, that feedback form Okay, uh, dear participants, uh, we're going to have the photo session. Okay, we have seven slides here, so please show us your best pose. Once again, would you mind to turn on your camera? Okay. Okay, pretty good. Right, so I'm going to start with the first slide. Right now, I'll move on to the second slide. Let's start at the top. Younger Padilla, two Pida. Okay, let's get ready. Three, two, one. Okay. Right. Let's go on with the third one. From Indah Nirjana to Siskarahayu. Okay, three, two, one. On the fourth slide, from Fatima to Zahro, to Rizka Ayunintias. Three, two, one. All right, next slide, we are in the mainland to Tulur Aini. The sixth slide, we have uh, Feby Amelin and Femia Ahlam. Three, two, one. Well, now we move on to the last slide from Tantri Arini to Shifa Fauzia. Three, two, one. All right, thank you so much for the participants and um, giving that session to the MC. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi okay, Thank you uh, for all participants who joined this webinar okay the, uh, the EDSO national webinar is over uh, as mentioned before the audiences are not allowed to leave the whatsapp group before downloading the e-certificate and please kindly fill out the feedback form and i think uh, that's all thank you very much for your next nice attention see you in our next webinar Have a great day. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
Terima kasih Pak Ripai. Terima kasih semua. Thank you dear participants. See you. Thank you. Love you. Thank you. Sarangi. Anjay. Thank you.